Welcome to Miller Online Tutorial. Now let us look at question number 25 of Nico. I mean, we yeah, are question number 26, sorry, of Nico 25 objective question is 3 that which of the following options here are the options here represents the number line in figure 1.3. Now this is figure 1.3, okay? And here is the number line. So, first of all, let us uh, establish some facts that uh, if you have a number line this way and here you have the zero, take note this number line on the x axis, okay? And uh, let's take this for instance, okay? Now this is negative six, let's assume this is negative six here and this is our one here, okay? Now this uh, arrow here just signifies this way, this is what it means. And for one, now this is what this means okay so the whole of this this is just the interpretation and let us take note that when you have uh, this uh, circle unshaded pointing this direction it means greater than okay and it points towards this direction it means uh, less than and if you have the shaded one pointing towards this direction it means greater than or equals to and it points towards this direction this is less than or equals to okay so at this point now since this arrow points towards this so it implies that x here okay is greater than according to this minus six okay and this arrow is pointing towards the left resting on one so this is a uh, x now since it is shaded coming this side so that will be less than or equals to what one okay so how do now put it in this form now since x is greater than negative six it means that negative six will definitely be less sorry if x is greater than negative six it implies that negative six will be less than x okay so we can represent that as uh negative six okay less than x and this point here also since x here now is less than or equals to so you can just put that x is less than or equals to one so negative six is less than x and x is also less than or equals to what one so from the options here this a is the right answer thank you and god bless you